Uh, hey guys, this is James. Um, I'm here to tell you guys about Vietnam War. Um, I have a few things to tell you. Um, um, the Bell UH-1 helicopter, the Bell UH-1 helicopter pop popularity known as the Huey was the workhorse aircraft for the U.S. forces in Vietnam. Well adapted for jungle warfare, the Huey could fly a at low altitudes and speeds, land in small clearings, maneuver to dodge enemy fire, and carry an array of powerful arm armaments. Um, and among their duty, uh, among other duties, the versatile chopper transported troops, equipment, and supplies, and supported personnel into personnel into the field. Sorry if I'm um, misspelling the words. I kind of can't say them that great. Um, into the field provided additional firepower to troops engaged on the ground and evacuated the dead and wounded. Technical data for the UH-1B type utility helicopter. It was made in 1960. Engine Lycoming T-53L-11 turboshaft, 1,100 SHP shaft how horsepower. Rotor diameter 44 feet, fuse lag length 38 feet 5 inches, overall length 53 feet, height 14 feet, empty weight 5,055 pounds, max takeoff weight 9,500 pounds, max speed 138 miles per hour, ceiling uh, 21,000 feet around there. Range, it can hold up to 286 miles per gallon. Um, crew, there's two pilots. And load, seven fully equipped troops or 3,000 pounds. And that is going to be a lot for, um, sorry for zooming in, I was just scooting my chair in, um, for a lot of firepower. I have... There's a guy from my church here. Um, he is from, he, he was in Vietnam. He told us that um, the jungles were too um, thick for their troops, but the enemy, enemy Vietnam soldiers could do anything they wanted. They can fit in small gaps because they're so tiny. And they are really, you know, just... Very hard to see because they're the natives there. Um, I have some more information. B-52 Strait Stratofortress. It's an airplane designed in the late 1940s to carry nuclear bombs on long-range, high-altitude missions to target in the Soviet Union. The B-52 Stratofortress performed well under quite different, different circumstances in Vietnam. Outfitted with conventional metal bombs at assembly line type, excuse me, type loading operation at bases in Thailand, Thailand, and on Guam, B-52 flew tens of thousands of low altitude, high density bombing stories. Sort, excuse me, sorry sorties in North and South Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. The massive bombing runs did not paralyze the enemy instrumental in con wait, sorry, enemy as they might have in more conventional fought wars. But the B-52 proved instrumental in con containing or breaking up North Vietnamese offensive, disrupting, disrupting, sorry, supply lines and bringing the 
communist forces to the Negotism table. That was a bombing plane, if you didn't understand. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things, like the F-4 Phantom fighter plane, um, artillery, M-48 tanks, you know what tanks are all about. Um, yeah, they use, like, machine guns, assault rifles, mortars, um, the infantry, they... The soldiers use standard issue equipment, just like headgear, um, uniform and hot uniform that and um, camo with the jungle rifles, Mark II anti-personal hand rifle grenade, um, Claymore anti-personal mines, canteen food. Um, when they stop, they eat them. Backpack, footwear, sources. Um, sorry if the lights are going out. Kids are playing with them. Um, yeah, this is. They try to help the um, the locals. So thank you.